Hi guys, I decided that we maybe could make um, a little, you paint some garden tools, maybe some pots, maybe some potting plants. It's probably because that's what I'm doing today. But why don't we go ahead and just, I'll draw them with the pan. I'm not gonna use this pen, I'm gonna use another. And then we'll go ahead and add the color to them. So maybe we'll want a stack of pots. Maybe we won't stack them because I've just drawn the lines wrong for the stack. We'll stack these over here. See, I've got the one pot and now it's just gonna appear like those pots are inside, whoops, inside this one. <clears throat> and maybe one more. Okay, we've got some pots here. And let's do a, a bigger pot that we maybe will put some of our flowers in. And then, well, why don't we do a, let me think here, let's do one of the little tools. It's kind of like, a little bit like this. Is a, this one's a shovel, well, maybe. Um, I don't know. Let's just use that one. Maybe we'll have a little, a little larger dig shovel here. Let's maybe add a little. Well, maybe let's put one of these handles with some wood on it here so maybe see sometimes they're okay maybe let's do a little hand trowel let's see let's go or a little fork i guess this is we'll give it a little handle here Okay, let's put some flowers in our pot. Maybe we'll start with some greenery. So our green leaves actually just can be cascading down. They don't even have to really be the shape of a leaf, but just a variety of things to represent leaves. What kind of flowers can we put on here? Oh. Maybe we'll put our flowers on just with the paints and then we can add the, the uh, lines after that. Okay, maybe I'm gonna make another little shovel here. Um, This one's going to be just a little smaller. Okay, maybe let's have some of the nursery flowers that you can get, and they're in like a six pack. Let's see how we can do this. Oops, that will go that way. Let's see it go that way. So you can see the little sections here. Mm -hmm. It'll have something growing in it. And we can just make some lines right now and then depending on what color we choose will be dependent on whether it's a leaf or a flower. So let's have those potted plants. Okay, I think we're great here. This won't be a, a long video but we can just add some color to the pictures that we've just looked, painted. I'm just spritzing my paints. Not sure which ones I'm gonna use, so I'm just gonna go kind of around a lot of them. I've got a, another little grouping of paints there so that I could 
bring it up just a little bit so that I don't reach. I notice that the table moves when I reach. So maybe if I bring these paints a little closer, I'll just use this set. So we can start wherever, and I think it's maybe kind of nice to start with some leaves. We could also start with just water and then bring our color in after the water. Um, Let's bring in and then purple. Ooh, that's a lot of. I'm going to just dilute that just a little bit. There we go. Let's bring it a little higher here. That's quite pretty. All right, that gives us. A little bit of blooms there. There's a little bit of variegation in the color. I'm going to add just a little bit of red to try to see if we can't get these to have a little bit of pink. There we go. I'm going to bring in just a little. No, we're not going to keep it that color, but we're going to add another color to it and see how if we can get it to turn into some of our foliage here. There we go, we've got a green going. Oh, be careful. Okay, let's go to our pots. Let's start over here and woo! These are the paints are very thick. We're going to have to add some ground to this so that this pot doesn't look like he's floating in the air, which it does look like he's floating in the air right now. And on this one, I'm going to just switch out my colors just a little bit so that we can see what part is the pot. Um, just try to make them a little bit lighter. Really, maybe should be the opposite of that. The insides of the pot maybe should be the dark. And then the lip, the lighter. This is what I'm calling the lip right here. And the lip right here. Bring this out. Let's bring it out just a little bit. Okay, I think we'll be able to alter that with our pen. I'm not quite sure that's exactly how I wanted things to go. Whenever I have these clay pots in my yard, they're never just the clay color. They are Mine are usually older and very loved. They've been around for quite a few seasons and held wonderful flowers for me. So I sometimes I even have almost like a, a moss color that kind of gets on them. I'm not sure why.
Okay, now I kind of stayed away from the lip on this pot for just a little bit because the green is still wet and it, it'll probably start to bleed into that. So garden tools are often a grayish color. So I'm just going to bring a little bit of gray in here. This might want to be a little darker right here in the middle. Oh, there we go. That's a lovely color for this shovel. And this shovel is more of a flat bottom shovel. And this shovel is my rounded shovel. rake. I haven't decided what color I want their handles to be yet. Um, bring in a little bit of brown. And you're left-handed. I should have put my picture here so that I'm not going over the wet picture. Because see, when I want to paint here, I'm right on top of this. Right on top of that. Um, I think these are more of a grayish color. I never like to use complete black. Um, it's a very that's pretty pretty dark here. Let's see if we can lighten it up a little bit. I think I'll make my garden handles red. I have tools with red handles. They're nice because then you can always see them. Oh, let's give these guys a pink for their color too. See, came back in and just got that a little bit wet and then dabbed it and that opaque paint went away. It's a little too, a little too dark there. Is this, is this working up very fast? Let's kind of give our shovel just a little seam. Oh, see, look what I, oh, my hand, my left hand just got into the wrong place. It got into the red paint there, and it's just going to, that's good. Just a little bit of blue. Let's get that seamed a bit too, just for just for accents. I'm gonna bring a little bit of blue into the leaves on this. Bring quite a bit of green back here. Right. 
See, it's kind of a, an awkward grouping here. Let me just bring some of my other color there. I think I spread some of these. So we're going to see here if we can give this a little bit of ground so they're not like floating in the air. Anchor them down just a, a tad by putting that one under them. And this is this is the awkward part of these two tools because it they're not really laying in the right way. This is not the one I want. Have to be, have to kind of be careful here because everything's wet, and if I keep playing with the wet things, they're gonna look um, muddied soon. So I'm gonna have to let them dry for just a tad. Keep wanting to. 